Guys, I have my All Might t-shirt. It's a gift from my husband to me. I love All Might. I'm into anime, so today I have a lot to do and I want to take you with me. So today is my binder setups. I worked all night, that's why I have these baggy eyes. I got my envelopes. I got my book. My book. So <laughs> no further ado, let's get into it. So guys, here we are. <clears throat> On my previous video, um, January setup, I mentioned that when I close January, I'm gonna put the amount here, okay? And then I'll take this amount divided by 120 and that's how much each puzzle it would be colored, okay? So that's the goal. So I'm gonna create a hybrid workbook by paycheck by the budget mom slash regular notebook. For those who who can't, um, doesn't have the book she is sold out but um doesn't mean that you cannot use her forms because she has free resources she wants everyone to be uh good with their finances so she created this to better herself and anyone who is trying and so i printed out this puzzle sheet one says debt tracker the other side savings tracker the goal here are emergency goal and what is the amount for emergency goal. I'm gonna go to my financial plan. So this is my financial plan. My emergency, here we go, is 10 grand. I'm gonna do that right now. It's $10,000, uh, 24 months, right? Guys, I got my calculator. Oh, 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 oh. Introducing my calculator. Now, this is brand new. I'm gonna speed this process up. Ooh, I'm off. Uh, so what I did was 10,000 divided by 120, this is 120 puzzles, is 83.3. I'm gonna round it off for 84. $84 each. There you go. I do have my son in the background. You know, yeah, it's Friday. He normally doesn't go to school on Fridays. So what I did, okay, so, so according to my financial plan and goals worksheet, this is just a, a, like, a estimate you see it's an estimate and estimate date however i did complete number one and you're gonna see that in a few minutes so what i have done was here my january uh credit score went down two points so my son is screaming he's having fun so we're just gonna push through because i do work tonight um, and I want to keep taking you with me. So for the month of January, my credit score is 707. Um, you know, it's depending on the debt ratio. So that's what it is. And I colored it up to February. Here, what I'm planning to do once I uh, complete one of my financial goal, I will highlight it in green because green is go, 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 go. I'm hitting the floor and running. And this doesn't change because the end of January has not started. But I, I, I want to put at least five bucks. That's the goal. No pressure. I'm not going to put pressure on this because my goals, this is a savings goals. So this is number one. I'm going to write it here. Number one, debt. So what are my plan? What are my top three? Because I have a lot, a lot of plans. So debt number one. So I'm going to focus this. 
is called short term goals within one year. So this is my focus. I can't focus on this because I have to focus on this. So I have here buffer checking buffer. So this is goal number two. And I'm writing it one, two, because I am going to put these same numbers in my budgeting, in my monthly budgeting, weekly budgeting. So one, two, and savings account. I don't, I'm zero right now. Checking account is what I roll over. If you watch my previous um, video, I roll over 174 with five cents. So that's all I have. So the goal is 1000 ASAP. Okay. There's no debt. There's no time because it's ASAP and goal number three, because I don't want to lose focus. So I have three goals within one year. If now that would be cool. So Sam's city, Lowe's and Amex and any little ones that comes through the pipeline on uh, you know little ones so those are my focus if i add all of these seven one 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 is ten a little bit more than ten thousand that's approximately how much i'm gonna be paying in a year ten thousand dollars in 2024 okay so that's my goal that's my plan i'm not gonna focus on this this is still inactive because i'm still paying the minimum moving forward okay so that said so that said one two three i'm gonna skip this skip this because these are sinking funds i'm gonna skip this i completed december november and december for the people who are new and watching my video for the first time this is was my tryouts what am i spending without seeing anything without tracking and what I did was in my checking account, I only got one checking account. That checking account comes in, everything comes out. So 174.05, where I got that number from my December. Oh, where are you? Here we go, you see? Right there. And I just roll it over to January. I'm starting my tracker. I'm gonna start, uh, I'll do black. I completely filling it out. This is the apple.com that got through. So this is so far. This is exactly what I just showed you. Um, and we're gonna move it from here. We're gonna keep on pushing through. One eternity later. So guys, you're not gonna believe it, but I found a hack for the covers. Yes, you know how the cover keeps coming out so i got an idea to use one of these little rubber bands that i use for remy's high top and it's the same size of a rubber band for you know if you have braces and you put that color rubber band over the bracket so what i did was i put it yeah i don't see if you can see it right here i'm just gonna take it off and put it right on to show you so you see this this little rubber band right here let me see if i take it off so this i don't know if you can see it it's a little rubber band so what i did was i lift it up took it and i 
put it on the fourth like this oh yeah it's a you have to be a little bit handy but i did it like that i put it in this hook right here in this one yeah i'll show you yeah it's a little there we go you see and i pulled it Ugh, if I can grab it now. Ah, there. Look, I, I almost had it. There. So I put it on the fourth. I do a twist. And then I put it in that teeth, in that little hook right here. Like this. You see that one? I put it over it. Then underneath, twist again, and then over it. You see, I, it's in there. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. Now, you can twist it. Okay, it came out like this underneath. And then I twist, twist, and then the last hook. So. And I did the same thing here on top. You can't see it because it has purple and it camouflage within the lines of the blue one. And it doesn't come and it's easy, you see, it's easy and it doesn't come out. So let's go to January. So now I did, I did enter um, some of the information. So we're just going to continue forward from from here on. So this is what I did. You see how I budget 2100 and let me just get my pen blue calculator. There we go. So what I did was I covered this much. This is what I did. So I um, the income was 2000 buffer 174. And then I paid uh, 315 for Discover, which is the minimum. Bank of America, 110, which is the minimum. Amex is 400, which is the minimum. My card, 399 with 51 cents, which was the actual. Taxes, I paid 40. Insurance is for February, so it's not due in January. Wells Fargo, I paid the minimum, which is one thirteen thirty four. Lowe's, I paid thirty dollars. And City, I just paid. Let me confirm.
So guys, here we are. There is a couple of debt here. So Target, 70A52, Lowe's, I did $30. And I'm just taking care of the debt first. Citibank, because I wanna close the debt because the month this check covers all the debt. You see? Even though these debt was covered by um, some McDonald's um, income, but I wanna close it because any check after these is all in my sinking funds, okay? And my buffer, all right? So I wanna know, um, you know, numbers does change, during the time of planning but the actuality is that we have to plan it very close to the budget so and i want to see where i am right now so these are today is january 17. this is the last entry these four entries are pending so i leave it blank sometimes things comes through and it's not posted yet so i leave it like that um, Citibank 151.17 and then debt a target and $30 for Lowe's and then apple.com was $2.99 so let's go to the budget sheet here budget with me so Goals number one is to be debt free. So I'm hitting my debt. Goal number two, increase my buffer. So I have buffer here again. So this is just there. And number three, savings. I want to increase my savings. Those are the three. Once these are met, then everything else comes through. So I got my blue and I have my little sticky here. So target is not here. So I forgot I had Target. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna write Target here. Target. And um, the amount is 78.52, which that's what I, I actually paid, 78.52. I know it doesn't work this way, but um, I will adjust the system once I get used to it. So Lowe's I did pay. So you see, it doesn't have a check. Let me get my purple. This is my purple. Purple is double checking. So Lowe's got, um, because it was pending, now it's got through, it's clean. City, what I pay for city is um, 151.17. Okay, so I actually, Pandora, Pandora is the same. So I'm going to put 6.78. The target went through, so I got purple. Insurance is a minus because it's just rollover. City got through so that star was an indication for myself to put an eye on it there you go so this is close i just want to close with the amount i have right now okay so here we are what i did was i updated my debt is already paid and it got cleared so i filled it in in blue okay what i have done was i used this amount to pay all of this, all of that, and then I realized that I'm negative 230 with 75. That doesn't even mean that I went here. This is just negative, this is just here. So I have to really be, um, I really have to be really close to this. So that said, that means that I use McDonald's money to cover these expenses, okay? And that's okay. So here we go. Home Depot paid in full. 
Chewy.com, paid in full. Sam's, paid in full. So Sam's, all these threes are gone, gone. So what I did was, I went all the way. Where is my... And I highlighted it in green. Okay, so it's done. I'm moving to the next goal. Okay, he is gone. Sam is gone. I have zero. So what I'm trying to do is, my goal is to pay $5.43 with $0.85 cents by, you know, to get rid of it. Okay, this is just an estimate cost. Okay, and this is a target date. So I'm trying to do it before the six. Okay, a little bit challenge for myself. So when I started, it was fourteen hundred with seventy. Now, because I was really putting it in, now it's one thousand seventy one, which I paid a hundred seventy, a uh, hundred fifty one with seventeen cents because the interest kicked in. And remember, I said that the uh, Sam was like three thirty eight but i forgot the interest the interest is 28 percent, so it went up to 384 and i said no let's just move, focus on the debt and let's move forward okay so what i did was i pay more citibank because that's next online it's done i paid and i am just going to move forward okay so i have made some um some purchases for Jacob and um, some gas and groceries. Um, this part, I'm going to leave it blank for now because at the end of the month, I am going to, um, to close the month and see the actual amount I have spent so far. Okay. So that said, I have a total of $154.25. Okay. That is going to the buffer. I am not touching that. So if if I can help it. <laughs> so let's just be clear. If I can help it, I'm not touching that. That's for the buffer. Even though I have 50 here, I can do 50. Like if I want to stick to the plan, put 50 here and then do a cash of a hundred dollars. Okay. But I want to leave, I want to take the next check. So I'm just going to put this like this and I'm using purple because purple is McDonald's. I'm going to assign purple McDonald's. So I, right now I have 153 with 25 cents and I'm just going to put plus whatever next check I am going to do my first cash stuffing okay and based on these numbers is where I'm going to put the denomination right down for instance Jacob is 20 bucks I'm going to put Jacob Remy 20 bucks tw so forth like this Whatever amount I have, I will cover that. Once I have that on my next check, which is Tuesday from McDonald's, then we'll follow up with the, the cash stuffing. Okay, so that's what I want to update for right now for January. Today is January 17th, and I just want to make sure that I close my debt information. So now I can focus on this and buffer you see goal number one i am done so number two and three so which is buffer and savings and all of this i want to start um saving money for my sinking funds that said um so what's the goal the goal is once i've i i set up my january yeah. i realized that because my budgeting is a little bit complicated and it will take it will fit everybody if you're monthly check if you're weekly check and i'm going to be budgeting bi-weekly in this case like a week and a couple of more days so 
I know it's not a week completely, but it's just that monies are coming in and bills are getting paid and I want to update the book. So we're going to do that. Um, I might get another side hustle because that's who I am. So I don't know, but we're going to just as we go. So like I said, I'm going to hit and run. I'm running. I don't want to leave no one behind. You're watching it. If you enjoy it with a smile, just subscribe, hit the like button. You know, it is what it is. Okay, guys. Thank you. Bye.